Hello, beloveds. Welcome to the Amanda Collins podcast. It's my honor to help you awaken to joy, be your greatest self, and live a life you love. I'm Amanda Collins. Each week, I'll share tips, practices, and rituals to help you feel the storehouse of joy inside. I'll answer your questions and talk with thought leaders from around the world about health, wealth, love, conscious living, and parenting. Are you ready to live your most fulfilled life? Welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. This is episode 41. I love the book Power vs. Force by John Hawkins. As he talks about our vibration in numbers, shame, guilt, grief are the lowest vibrations in the 20s and 30s. But as soon as we move into acceptance, we go up into the hundreds. And then when we meditate, we move into bliss, ananda, and it creates infinite possibilities. We all come out of balance. We all have experiences that we perceive as bad, so that then lowers our vibration. But it's having the tools to come back into our hearts, to ground, and ultimately into our joy. It's vital that we allow emotions such as grief, sadness, or anger, as these emotions are important. It's important to move through them and not avoid them. But the problem is when we get lost in them. If you hold on to these emotions and feelings and don't move through them, well then you keep attracting situations that align with these thoughts. Emotions create your thoughts and thoughts are what make us feel happy or sad. Ask yourself, what am I paying attention to? What am I focusing on? Am I giving myself permission to play? We get to choose. We get to choose how we react to a thought. As thoughts arise, we can watch them go by like clouds in the sky. Allow our egos to express whatever it needs. Allow yourself to feel these emotions and have the thoughts and then channel them in healthy ways, such as journaling, writing, speaking them. We are vibrational beings. When we lift up our vibrations, we magnetize all the experiences of high vibration into our lives. You cannot have what you're not willing to become. That's why if someone wins the lottery, Usually they're broke again, as they don't embody knowing that they deserve that abundance. Perhaps a success doesn't stay around for long or a loving relationship. If you do embody it, it sticks around. It's important to note that we're not attracting things. It's all about what we radiate from the inside. And then from that place, it mirrors back from the outside world. If you become love and radiate love, you will attract loving relationships. There is an energy and a frequency to everything. Here are some things you can do to experience more joy in your life. First of all, you have to be willing to like yourself. Even more importantly, love yourself. Be willing to look at thoughts and reflect. Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself and others and see source within us, all around us. The following list are not things that can make you happy. However, you can consciously choose to use them to increase your vibration and these are a gateway to allow you to step into your joy. Be willing to bring these things into your life. Music, 
dance. For me, I love to chant. Self-care. Baths, drink plenty of water. Eat healthy foods. Spend time with people that you love in places that you love. Do inspiring things. Read books that you love. Watch movies that you love. Good podcasts. Listen to your spiritual teachers. Exercise. Exercise stimulates endorphins and makes you feel amazing mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's important to choose exercise that you love. Laugh, smile, exchange a smile with somebody in the street. Keep a gratitude journal. Now, I would love to hear from you. What are some of the unique practices you do to keep your vibration high? By you sharing your ways of doing so might be just what someone else needs to hear to inspire them to step into their joy. Thanks, beloveds, for joining us today. Please come over to themandacons.com to continue the conversation and get access to all my podcasts, blogs, and videos. Did you enjoy this podcast? If so, please subscribe to the Amanda Collins podcast on iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Feel free to pass this podcast on to your friends. That helps us get incredible guests to share their secrets for an inspired and joyful life. If you want more great resources, come over to amandacollins.com and join my mailing list for all my latest content. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, I'm 